The Heart of Texas Fair and Rodeo. The Heart of Texas Fair and Rodeo. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> Hi, we're Zach and Jim. Here's what's coming up this week on 25 Hot Country Cafe. All that and more this Sunday night, right after Eyewitness News on 25 for you. No doubt about it. Jim Cody from the Waco One Every Morning Show. Hey, welcome, your throat sounds bad. <laughs> welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe. You know, it is the uh, cold and flu season. Yeah, maybe uh, some uh, chicken soup here at the old shack. Uh, you know, I think good. that would uh, do some good. Yeah, welcome. You know, this is really, I guess you would say, our first show of the new year. Officially our first show for 1994. Let's get it kicked off with some hot videos. Yeah, we got a brand new one. Here's Neil McCoy, and no doubt about it. Just like every lock's got to have a key. On Sunday, we're brightened up your day. If you watch 25 Hot Country Cafe. Hey, welcome back to 25 Hot Country Cafe with Zach and Jim. Well, we got a lot of new videos tonight for you, and we're going to go into a double shot right now. Here's Vince Gill and the new one from Martina McBride. couple of brand new videos on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Stay with us because later on we're going to tell you how you can win that Washburn acoustic guitar from Lone Star Music. Yeah, up next we've got the sax band with a review of a new CD. Also, we've got Leroy Parnell's latest video. Stay with us. Hi, this is the sax man, Greg Sachs from Waco 100. Let's check out another hot new country CD. Ricky Van Shelton's been around for a while. He's got a brand new one out called A Bridge I Didn't Burn and unfortunately Ricky Van doesn't have the same impact that he had years ago. Still sings traditional, but a bridge I didn't burn. Where was I? Still got a couple of good years left. I don't know if Ricky Van has any good years left. He's a great guy, but the CD just doesn't work. I give it a two on a scale from one to ten. That's it for the sax man. Be good. Latest video from Leroy Parnell on 25 Hot Country Cafe. Jim, we want to take time to thank everybody for viewing our top 10 show last weekend. It yep. turned out to be a great one. Uh, we had a good time doing that. And now it's our first official show of 1994 this week. Hopefully, if everything works out, we'll do that again at the end of this year. That's right. If they don't cancel us before then. That's right. Up next, we've got country music news and concert dates with Beth Andrews, plus more great videos. Hi, I'm Beth Andrews, and here's what's happening in the world of country music. Several country music singers are getting their chance to appear for the first time in front of the movie cameras. A new film coming out this spring called Maverick stars Jodie Foster and Mel Gibson, but it's going to have some cameo appearances from country singers, including Vince Gill, who plays a robber, Clint Black plays a gambler who just can't help himself and has to cheat, and Randy Travis takes side bets. Along with these singers, several other artists will also make quick appearances. The casting director says he hopes by giving the singers roles in the movie, he's giving them a good reason to take part in the soundtrack for the film. It's set to be released this spring. Also in the works is a book about one of the hottest country music stars around, Billy Ray Cyrus. 
Surprisingly enough, Billy Ray's ex-wife Cindy is working on the book. She says she's good friends with her ex, so she's using her skills as a writer to tell the story behind her very famous ex-spouse. She's also hoping the country music world will take notice of her skills and sign her on to a song publishing deal. If you like reading about your favorite country music stars, Naomi Judd's autobiography, Love Can Build a Bridge, was released last month. And Roy Clark's about to tell his story in a new book called My Life in Spite of Myself. It's set to be released this spring. But if you'd rather see a concert than read a book, there are some opportunities coming up in Central Texas. Here's what's going on. Boy Howdy will appear at Billy Bob's in Fort Worth on January 14th. Also at Billy Bob's McBride and the Ride on the 15th. Little Texas on the 21st and on the 22nd, Billy Bob's will host a preview party for the movie Eight Seconds. It's starring Luke Perry as Lane Frost, the famous bull rider. You can catch some real-life bull riding action at the Heart of Texas Fairgrounds Coliseum the 14th and 15th and get ready for Reba. She's coming to the Farrell Center next month. And that's our country music news for now. Back to you, Zach and Jim. Well, thank you, Beth. You know, from time to time, we'd like to visit with new and upcoming country stars. We've got another one. Yeah, we've had a lot of great ones in 93. Here's a guy from Tahoka, Texas, Darren Norwood. You wonder if I ever think about her. I got somebody very special to me. He's my papa. He's a cotton farmer uh, in Tahoka. He told me, he said, son, since you, uh, since you could talk, uh, you could sing. <laughs> and he says, that, that's pretty much all I can do, and I, I have to agree with him. <laughs> and I went on to sing with my family, the, called the Norwoods. Uh, my daddy was a, a Baptist evangelist. And uh, by the time I was 10, I had my very first uh, album. And, uh, uh, between the ages of uh, 10 and 15, we had three gospel albums and a country album as a family. Continued to, to uh, sing until I was 20. I finally uh, moved to Nashville to, to give her a go in the big country music uh, world. Well, what's really been exciting that I just found out today is that we've picked up like uh, 15 to 20 dates already in Texas for February. And uh, I know of six or seven of them that are with uh, Doug Supernone and Mark Chestnut. I just picked up about four or five Doug Stone dates. And so I think they're going to spread me out, which would be pretty great because I've opened up for all these guys in the last two years at the buckboard uh, where I've been working. So if I get to work with all of them, be fine with me. I am a writer. Uh, I, write, I write some songs uh, that, that ain't no count, but I'll tell you what happened. About three or four years ago, uh, I met up with a lot of guys that, that do know how to write very well, and I started watching them and listening to them and writing with them. And since I got my record deal, I started writing with... Uh, some really fantastic writers. A lot of guys who wrote a lot of hit songs. And uh, I only put one song, though, on my CD this time. Uh, uh, it's called J.T. Miller's Farm, and it's a song about my papa. And since he meant so much, I wanted to dedicate the, C I dedicated the CD to him and my, my grandmother and uh, wrote a song about him. And, uh, so you'll find it there February 1st. In fact, you can go buy that CD. And then I'll, I'll tell you what I like to do, uh, just, a, just a piece of a song that uh, is one of mine, and that'll kind of let you see the little influences uh, that I had. Uh, it's a song I was talking about. My, I talk about my papa a lot, but it means a lot to me. And I'll do you just a verse of it, and, and this is, really shows the, just how country boy I am. If you can write stuff like this, you know you're from the country. If you can't, you probably ain't. His daddy gave him 20 acres. He made Mary Jo his wife. In the spring of 47, God gave them the gift of life. He reached out his callous hands, held the baby in his arms. Cause only love is ever grown on J.T. Miller's farm. Their love was like a river, an endless life. Summer through winter, in season all the time. But the only thing that took root was what was in their hearts. Cause only love is ever grown on J.T. Miller's farm. So, so you can hear a little, a few of the influences in there. You know where I, uh, I don't know, uh, it's homegrown Texas boot scooting country music. Now here's your chance to win that Washburn acoustic guitar, Turner Nichols cassettes, autograph posters, and t-shirts from 25 Hot Country Cafe. Just send your name, your phone number, and your address on a postcard to 25 Hot Country Cafe and watch the first show in February for the drawing.
That's going to wrap things up for this week's edition, the first in 1994 of 25 Hot Country Cafe. Yep, we'll see you next week, same time, right here with Zach and Jim. And I'll find a throat lozenge for next yeah, week. Okay? We'll do something to you, some Drano <clears throat> or something. Drano, that works. See you next week. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. y'all.